Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to answer the question, do stickers need to be placed on grounded receptacles that are protected by GFCI or AFCI slash GFCI dual function receptacles or breakers? We're talking about the stickers that say GFCI protected outlet and AFCI protected outlet. Do we really need to put those stickers on grounded receptacles? Let's start at 2020 NEC 406.4 D2B. This is the article where they're talking about replacing the old two-prong receptacles. Uh, they're called non-grounding receptacles here in the code book. And it says uh, a non-grounding type receptacle or receptacles shall be permitted to be replaced with a ground fault circuit interrupter type receptacle or receptacles. These receptacles or their cover plates shall be marked no equipment ground. So the GFCI itself has to be marked no equipment ground and that's for the old two prong type receptacles. Okay, no equipment ground. And then down here on C, it says the non-grounding type receptacle shall be permitted to be replaced with a grounding type receptacles. Now we're talking about the regular receptacles downstream from the GFCI where supplied through a ground fault circuit interrupter where grounding type receptacles are supplied through the ground fault circuit interrupter, the grounding type receptacles or their cover plates shall be marked GFCI protected and no equipment ground. So you need two stickers on the regular receptacles. So this is very clear in the code. You have to use stickers when you're replacing the old two prong receptacles, okay? No equipment ground on the GFCI and no equipment ground and GFCI protected on the downstream receptacles. Here we are at 210.8, ground fault circuit interrupter protection for personnel. And we're gonna look through here for any indication that we should be using stickers on grounded receptacles. And then uh, we have A, dwelling units. All 125 volt through 250 volt receptacles installed in locations A1 through A11. So let's look through uh, 1 through 11. We've got bathrooms, garages, crawl spaces, basements. There's no indication that we need to use any stickers here. Let's see. Six kitchens, sinks, boathouses, bathtubs, laundry areas indoor damp and wet locations okay other than dwelling units okay so we got bathrooms kitchens rooftops outdoors sinks i'm not seeing any indication that we need to use stickers yet uh indoor damp and wet crawl spaces nothing about stickers laundry areas bathtubs nothing about stickers Okay, now, now we have 210.12 arc fault circuit interrupter protection. And it's talking about A, B, C, and D. So we're in A dwelling units. Four, is that be A, four? And we're talking about a listed outlet. This outlet, okay, this isn't a breaker. Outlet branch circuit type arc fault circuit interrupter installed at the first outlet on the branch circuit in combination with a listed branch circuit overcurrent, that's a breaker, overcurrent protective device where all of the following conditions are met. And you go down here to see, it says the first outlet box in the branch circuit shall be marked to indicate that it is the first outlet of the circuit. So that's the only other place I know of other than replacing the ungrounded receptacles that's the two prong receptacles it's the only place i know of where you're going to need to mark a receptacle which is usually done by using a sticker but those are the only two places that i know of where you need stickers otherwise grounded receptacles i don't see any indication that you need to use those stickers at all on the grounded receptacles that are protected by gfci or dual function 
I also don't see any prohibition against using the stickers on protected receptacles. So I would say use the stickers on grounded receptacles at your discretion. The stickers can be found in the boxes that the devices come in. So there you go. That's my answer to the question. I'll put a link in my video description for a variety of Leviton GFCI and AFCI slash GFCI. And I'll put a link for the 2020 NEC Spiral Codebook and for the hardbound handbook. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.